everyone, Vanessa here at Nessa Lee Baby, and today we're going to do something a little interesting. We often have customers that are coming into the store, it's their first time shopping for strollers, and they're a little overwhelmed, and a lot of times they come with different ideas on what strollers they want to see because maybe they have some friends or family or they've researched things online. Two of the most commonly compared strollers for customers are the Up Baby Vista and the Bugaboo Chameleon. And the most common thing that people ask is, what's the difference between these two strollers? Is one better than the other? Should I get one over the other? And the truth is, there are differences. One is not better than the other. They have, you know, each one has their pluses. Um, and then, you know, where you're missing something on one, you get something on the other. Where you get something on one, you're missing something on the other. So it's really what works for you and what works for your lifestyle, what you really like better. So today I'm going to show you some of the differences between the two of them to hopefully give more people a better understanding of what each one is about. For starters, a bugaboo, comes in a box with two separate pieces instead of three. You're probably saying that doesn't make sense because I've heard that the bugaboo comes with the seat and the bassinet. That is true. You can only purchase the bugaboo with the seat and the bassinet, but it's not set up that way. When bugaboo was initially designed, it was designed with people who live in cities in mind at first. So they figured people who live in cities don't have a lot of extra space in order to store extra pieces. So they made the least amount of pieces that could be converted into other pieces kind of like transformers. So in the box, there is this rectangular structure. It's a frame. That frame is gonna start out as your bassinet, and when you're done with the bassinet, you're gonna change over the fabric, which is also included, and turn it into the seat, which looks like this. The fabric kit that you purchase, which is this piece and that piece, the apron to the canopy, is gonna be used on both pieces. For example, the canopy is gonna be used on the bassinet and the seat, and the apron only gets used on the bassinet, obviously. So that is also interchangeable. So when it's time to store, you're not storing a large bassinet in your home. You're breaking it down, reusing the frame, and just storing some fabric. You also receive in the box, obviously, the frame, this aluminum piece right here, the aluminum chass chassis, and the basket, as well as the wheels. That's how the bugaboo goes. The upper baby is a little different because it's three separate pieces. In the box, you're going to receive the chassis, which has the, uh, the basket attached to it, the seat, which is this piece right here, and the bassinet with the apron on it. Instead of one canopy, you're getting two canopies of the exact same color and one apron, obviously, for the bassinet. So it's a little bit of a larger item to store, but it's separate pieces. So, you know, it depends on what your needs are. As far as the strollers themselves, they both have very strong, very durable frames. Both of them have great sets of wheels. You can take those wheels almost anywhere. They go over a lot of different types of terrains. Neither stroller is a jogging stroller. I want to point that out because a lot of people don't really understand that. These are not jogging strollers. These are really full-size, multi-use strollers for you know everyday life. As far as baskets, so that's probably one of the number one things that people compare between the two. The Upper Baby has a very generous, large mess ba mesh basket. That's can basically fit anything. A lot of people like to go food shopping with it put all your stuff in there, groceries, whatever you need. The Bugaboo's basket is obviously not the same size as the Upper Baby's, but it does have a generous amount of storage as well. It's closed, so you're not visually getting the, the idea that it has a lot of storage, but it really does. We can actually fit about five full-size baby blankets rolled up inside their basket. Now the positives and the negatives. The Bugaboo basket allows you to use these toggles and to close the items that are in the basket. So people can't reach in, grab them, they don't get dirty. This basket's open. It is easier for you to grab your own items, but it's also open so people can see what's in there. As far as closing them, when you close the Bugaboo stroller, the basket stays completely in the same position, meaning whatever's in there is gonna stay as is. With the other baby, when you close the stroller, the basket's basically breaking in half. So you can't have a lot of items in there, you can see can't have a lot of items in there because they're either going to fall out or they're going to stop the stroller from closing. So you are getting more storage, but that if you're closing it often, you might not want them. You're getting a little less storage. If you need more, you might not want that. So it really depends on what your needs are and how those are that works for you. As far as opening and closing, you just saw me open and close them. They're both very easy to open and close. They open and close differently, but they're easy to do. A bugaboo cannot fold with the seat on. So it's a two-piece fold. You pop the seat off and you fold the frame and you have two separate pieces. The upper baby can fold with the seat on or without the seat on. If you're going to fold it with the seat on, it has to be in the forward-facing position. As 
far as handles, both of them have adjustable handlebars. This one adjusts from the center, and this one adjusts on the sides. Both have good brakes. Bugaboo's brake is on top, Papa Baby's is on the bottom. Both strollers have bassinets. The Bugaboo bassinet is going to be a little bit longer in length, where the Papa Baby's is a little bit wider in width. Uh, they can lift either one of them by their handles. This handle, the one on the Papa Baby bassinet, is at the top where your canopy is. You can lift it up by that. You obviously, if you fold your canopy down, you cannot lift. You can use it for overnight sleep, and Up a Baby does sell a bassinet stand separately that you can purchase if you'd like to raise it up when you're using it for overnight sleep. The Bugaboo bassinet has a bumper bar attached to it, and you can lift it like that, and it's not affected in any way by the canopy. The Bugaboo does not sell a stand, so you can buy an aftermarket stand if you want and put that on there um, if you're using it in your house or next to your bed at night. The upper baby interior of the bassinet is organic fabric, cotton, and if you want to remove the sheet to wash it, you can. If you want to purchase additional sheets, you can do that as well. There's also a generous sun canopy, as well as a mesh ventilation system built in the back. And underneath, there's another panel that you can open up for additional ventilation to go through the bassinet. The Bugaboo also features a very comfortable bassinet, bassinet mattress inside with uh, an extra comfy like air core foam. And the included rain shield actually works on the bassinet of the Bugaboo as well as the seat. The Up -a Baby rain shield does not work on the bassinet. So if you need one for your bassinet, you just have to purchase that as an additional accessory on the side. Both strollers push really nice. I would say, in our opinion from selling them and pushing them all day, I think the Bugaboo might have a slightly better push, and that has something to do with the built-in suspension in the front of the stroller. As you can see right here, these white pieces, every 10 pounds of weight your child gains, you move them forward, and it just really helps with the suspension. It makes it optimal. The top of Baby does push really, really well. Uh, it's a little bit of a bigger profile than a Bugaboo. It is two and a half inches higher, meaning that your child's basically sitting two and a half inches closer to you than they would be sitting in the Bugaboo. A great feature about the Bugaboo is the fact that the seat can actually sit on the floor. So if you go to the park or go somewhere, you can use the seat as an extra form of seating. It also has beach mode. What you're going to do is pull the two wheels together. You pop off those front wheels, the little ones, when you go to the beach, and you can drag the stroller with you. It's a lot easier to drag over sand than it is to push over sand. And the Bugaboo's a handlebar is reversible, meaning you can push it forwards or backwards. So let's say you go somewhere. Maybe you're at a restaurant and you pull into the booth that you're going to sit at and your child's facing you this way and sitting in the stroller or sleeping in the stroller. And you find that you can't access the baby as easily. You can just push the little clips here and push the handlebar out of your way. And that gives you immediate access to the baby without rotating the stroller or picking up the seat and turning it. You can also push the stroller that way. That's not obviously the perfect way to push it because it puts your stationary wheels in front and your pivoting wheels in back. But it's good if you're going over rough terrain. If you are going over rough terrain, you can obviously lock either front wheels on either stroller. The Upper Baby does, does have that exact feature. So if you're going over cobblestone or something like that, where you feel like the wheels are getting away from you, simply lock the front tires and you're able to get um, a firmer non-pivoting wheel and it makes it easy to get over. Both strollers are offered in a variety of colors. The Bugaboo comes in a black frame, an aluminum frame, or coming soon, the navy blue frame. Uh, the black and the navy blue are a special edition. And then they have a variety of tailored fabric kits and base fabrics for you to choose from. The Upper Baby comes in a black frame or an aluminum frame. Uh, the black is aluminum, but I mean black in color. A black frame or an aluminum flame frame you can get the black frame with the silver, the black stroller, or the orange, and the aluminum silver frame comes with all the other colors. Both the Bugaboo Chameleon and the Upper Baby Vista are car seat adaptable. So a lot of our customers come into our store and they ask us, can I put my car seat on here? Or do I have to buy a Bugaboo car seat? Or do I have to buy an Upper Baby car seat? For starters, neither Bugaboo nor Upper Baby makes their own car seat. They're not in the car seat business. These two companies are in the stroller business. But they make adapters each made by their own company that work with a lot of other car seats. So what you can do is go out there, research the car
car seats, test them out. Pick the one that you feel most comfortable putting your child in and then purchase the appropriate adapter for that car seat and snap it right onto your stroller. So for example, if you've got a Maxi Cosi or a Cybex or a Peg Perego or Kiko, whichever one you choose, it'll work with different strollers. Obviously, your Bugaboo comes with, is available with certain adapters and your Uppa Baby is available with certain adapters. Both of them really do feature a wide variety, so you're never going to have a problem finding a car seat to work with your stroller. So now the Uppa Baby has a great feature about it, and that's if you're going to have a second child, or maybe you already do, and like to add a second seat onto the stroller, you can. If the stroller is facing you, the stroller seat, purchase a rumble, what's called a rumble seat, and it's $99. And the rumble seat snaps on right here. Now, I'm not going to tell you that it's a full size second seat, it's not. It's a very small second seat, it doesn't recline, but it's like that extra piece that you have in case of an emergency, or if you have a child that doesn't want to sit in the stroller all day long, but every now and then they need to get in there to rest. It's a great added extra for Bugaboo doesn't have that option, so you can't attach a second seat onto it, not big, not small, no seat. However, you can purchase what's called a wheeled board, and it snaps onto the back of the stroller, which is actually on the other side, over here, and your child can stand on it, and you can push, so it's more like a skateboard. Up a Baby does have that option as well, it's called the piggyback, so Up a Baby can actually turn, actually turn into a stroller for three kids, while a Bugaboo can turn into a stroller for two kids. So as you can see, both strollers are excellent, and they both have different pros, um, and you might say different cons, but we think they're all just pros about them. So if you have any questions, you can contact Nestle Baby at 732-431-0008. Thanks, and have a good day.